yeah, this is kind of like round two for us, right? So, um, I, I, man, I can't remember what we talked about last time. What did we discuss? Oh, it feels, it feels like ages ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't remember yesterday, man. So, uh, <laughs> never mind. But it was a, it was a good, it was it was a good, good conversation. Right? <laughs> it, was good, it was a good discussion. Yes, check it out. Okay, what's uh, what's your podcast handle? Where can people find you on the net? Under my name, just David Nolan. Okay, okay, super cool. Um, that's great. So the topic today is um, self love. So um, why is this important to you at the moment? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, can you repeat it? Yeah, sure. The the topic today is self love. So why is that important to you at this moment in time? Uh, what does it mean? To you? Oh my God! Um, because that is where everything starts. <laughs> <In my opinion. laughs> because. <laughs> We look at, <laughs> we do it the, uh, the, the other way around. We, we search for love outside of ourselves, mm -hmm. and then we know that is not it. <laughs> and we go back to ourselves again. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> boom, boom, drop the mic. That's it. <laughs> yeah, man. There's so many movies, there's so many songs about self love and all those kind of things, you know. but somehow the, most of the people don't get it because yeah you can see it around you right the, that's the proof that many people don't get it but finally i get it that's <laughs> the story isn't it the um isn't it the alchemist the the story where yeah. the, 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 this person exactly. yeah this person is like going around the world looking for something and yeah. Yeah. and there it is. It, it's right there in front of them all the time it's with everything um you name it um kung fu panda is also the same <laughs> He's looking for the for for the ingredients, uh, you know? inner peace, inner peace. Okay. Inner peace. Inner peace. There are a lot of people that, that want peace, that wants happiness, that want love, everything they want, but they don't have it in themselves. So yeah, you can never find it if you find it outside of yourself. Yeah, you so. you can't control those things, can you? I mean, you can't control the things that are outside of yourself. And there's this. Okay, exactly. There's, exactly. there's this great human like urge to try to control everything that's going on around about them. Yeah, and it's you see yeah. it with um with science at the moment, right? It's like how can we control the genetics? How can we engineer the perfect plants and the perfect people? And and uh, and you know how can we how can we get out into space? And it's like guys, we're making a mess of here. Right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really talking nice. about going out there, but it's like no, we gotta, you gotta start at home, right? And yeah, really, man, that is it, and uh, it's not that far away. <laughs> so yeah, exactly, but, exactly. But but yeah, but but in my opinion, you you really have to have alone time because if you don't have that, man, then it's, it's especially in the in the environment we're living in today. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything that's so busy, everything that's so uh, distracting. Yeah, then it's a, then it's a, a challenge to, to find love within yourself because, uh, yeah, so many distractions, you know, you, you get off track easily. So uh, for me now, yeah. You don't know who you are if you're always invested in what yes. other people are doing. Yes, yes. Indeed. And I tend to think that you're either you're either building your own dreams or you're building somebody else's, right? It's, it's exactly. kind of very little in the middle. And a lot of people are not focused enough to understand what the dream is for themselves. Yeah. And that's and that, that that's okay because every everybody's different, and you know you can work together with other people, and they can set up businesses, and you can work for them, and it can help you find some some kind of purpose. Yeah. But as you said, it does begin with with your people yeah. these feelings of anger or resentment or negativity yeah. towards other people. I tend to find that what really frustrates me and gets on my nerves. Usually, it's not a problem for most other people. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this, is, this, is, this is not working. I can't get the top off this bottle. Oh, oh. Yeah. And people are like, yeah. calm down, man. <laughs> yeah. Really? No, really, man. Really, I, I've noticed when, when people say, yeah, okay, self-love, how do you do that? How do you do that? Yeah, first of all, say it at least so many times as possible to yourself. You know, I love myself. I love myself. It's, it's, it's a... Because... You know what it is? We we do so much negative affirmations in ourselves subconsciously that you have to overcome. You know, because yeah, as a science said or a research said that you have sixty thousand uh, thoughts a day, and ninety five percent it's the same thoughts. 
Yeah, are the same thoughts, the negative ones or the positive ones, mostly the negative ones. Mm-hmm. So that you have to, yeah, uh, transform to the positive. And it, I know it's not easy, but you have to start somewhere, you know? Yeah. And, and just listen, listen and, and, and uh, pay attention to what you are saying, what comes out of your mouth, mouth and what you're doing. Most of the time we judge people and it, it comes down to that you're judging yourself. So that also has to do with your, your, your self-love. You don't, self, you don't self-love yourself. <laughs> Yeah, right. And absolutely. And um, the self-talk is very important. Uh, yeah. you, you mentioned that. It's it's really important to, I think, and it's not crazy. It's important to have a conversation with yourself, right? No, really, man. <laughs> I do that all the time. I, 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 and it's not it's not a talk that, that, that the other person that I'm talking to, the, the me, uh, that he talks with me all the time, the... Uh, comfort me in those times you know that you're, you're having a, a one one-sided uh, conversation no no it's really observing so mm-hmm. really looking at what you're saying and what you're doing and what you can um, do better and look for another time you know so because yeah, yeah, look at around you not that most of the people don't don't um, uh, yeah they're, they're not thinkers of themselves they just go with the flow just just go with with the people that are around them and let them lead them, you know, and uh, yeah, real followers. Yeah, it's um, people who have lost their way tend to very easily follow other people's path. And that's another person's path. It's yep. it's really not it's really not their own path, and it's no. it's really important if you're going to choose the right path to understand who you are, and. Yep. Um, do you know? I, do you know what occurs to me every now and then? I, I this, this is really crazy, and um, I got I go back to the Michael Jackson song "Man in the Mirror," right? Because yeah. that's part, nice, yeah. part of like when I was when I was growing up, and yeah, you know, as a kid, you sort of and the, the pop music and the pop culture is really important because people pick up the words and the lyrics and yeah. they repeat them, and and you know that's part of self talk, right? You know when you're yeah, singing, exactly. singing along to yourself, and that's why that's why. It really frustrates me when. Uh, oh, excuse me, my my daughter's here and she's. <laughs> my daughter's is just <laughs> the other daughter's hand in the door. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's see if my partner can. Uh... It doesn't matter, man. <laughs> okay, it's okay. My partner's picked up the problem, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> this gives me a little bit of space. Okay, that's cool. Um. Back out onto the balcony and into the sunshine. Right. Um, so, uh, where were we? Uh, I'm just, oh, Man in the Mirror, Michael Jackson. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, when you're a kid, you just pick out the sign, you just sort of sing along, and you don't think much about it, and then you get older, and you kind of reflect back, and the music of your childhood sort of stays with you. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and it's like, um, the, the lyrics are just like, I'm looking at the man in the mirror, I'm asking him to change his ways. Yeah. You know, and it's it's just all about reflecting on yourself. That's all you control. Don't worry about trying to trying to yeah. get everyone to do what it is you want them to do. And there's a lot of that that, that goes on. And you know, the essence of basic management, right? <laughs> yeah. Is uh, yeah. It's, I, yeah. Sorry. Go on. It's the same with me, man. I I also lo- um, listen to songs that I, I I liked before, you know, and that resonated with me at that time, you know. And then I thought, whoa, the, those lyrics are, are, yeah, you know, words are powerful if you if you really understand what they're saying, you know. So yeah, we should go back to the origin. I mean, word is a word is more than a word. I mean, we tend to think of words as just things, but there there's frequency, there's resonance, there's vibration, there's yeah. there's yeah. not just what you say, but there there's how you say it because you can you can yeah. use you can use the right words, but if you don't use them in the right way if you don't mean what you're yeah. saying in the positive sense yeah. of, of, of the yeah. term then it doesn't mean anything at all yeah i know what you mean man because you know i'm about to uh, uh become a, a speaker in in a uh, yeah uh, i want to be an international speaker you know i want to <laughs> speak in, in in big crowds and everything but that's the thing you you, you really if you want to bring your message you, you have to yeah storytell it you know in, in a way that 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 you can get the audience with you in the story and that they can relate to what you say what you're saying so because you can say your story in a, in a monotone way but nobody yeah will really listen to you or boring or you know yeah. Really... yeah, if you're not engaged and entertained by the story that you're telling, 
yeah. uh, it doesn't communicate to anybody else. I mean, look at them. Yeah. Well, think of the great comedians, right? People telling jokes. Yeah. If they're not oh, engaged in the story, if they're not laughing yeah. at their own story about what's happening. Yeah, because you, you, you can picture, you can imagine yeah. the, the situation, you know, you, you, you see yourself in that situation. And yeah. that's the thing. If you can see that, then you you got, you got, yeah, you got him. You know, you, you got the person and uh, of the people, and then yeah, you, you you also can bring your message, and that will stick. You know, it stick because you have an image. You have, a, you have an image. We we like to see everything in images. You know, yes. that's, 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 yeah, that, that starts. If you watch a movie, yeah, yeah, mm. uh, especially if it's a movie that you you really like, yeah, you you yeah, you you know, uh, yeah, you still remember it. <laughs> The image is powerful, and you know you talked about language. Okay, history. You know the word yeah. history. It's a story, right? History. It's the high story, right? Yeah. It's, it's it's the it's the lessons that we have learned from previous cultures and previous events and previous experiences all passed down to us, and it gives us something to hold on to that that we can learn from. You know, the classic yeah. example is obviously you know religious texts throughout the world in different cultures, but um, you know we have to we have to look. Back backwards to to understand where we are and if we want to know what the future is going to be like it's probably pretty much a repetition of a lot of things in the past unless yeah, exactly. we ch unless we change something now yep. unless, unless we do something in the mo in the moment you also mentioned images and yet you, the, you know the the brain is 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 very powerful in the way that it that it conjures images, and um, yeah. I always thought it was interesting that you know computers have this firewall to block information, but the brain kind of doesn't. Yeah. So the brain is just constantly working, even when we're asleep, constantly sorting, uh, absorbing information, and, and trying to trying to organize it in a sort of a cognitive way so that we can make sense of the world around about us. And the images are powerful because, um, you know, the root of the word image is the same as the root of the word magic. The image and the word magic go back to the same origin. It's also yeah. the same with, uh, um, what are those, magazine. If you look at the word magazine, yeah. Uh, that has its origin in the word magic as well because of the power of images. Yep. Um, look at uh, glamour, the origin of the word glamour in terms of, uh, say, say, fashion as well. I mean, that goes back to, to, to the idea of magic as well. Yeah. Um, the word, the word glamour, because I work with language, you can probably tell by, <laughs> you know, the yeah. direction that I'm going in. But um, the word glamour and the word grammar have the same origin, yeah? yeah. Which, is th which is in history, it's grimoire, which is the original book of black magic. Oh, nice! It's kind of interesting if you take that yeah, that step back, and if you go to a dictionary of etymology, right, you get one on online, yeah, and type in grammar as yeah. in the basis of language, it comes from the book of black magic originally. It's quite, it's quite right. Yeah. You, you, yeah, cool, man. If you, if you yeah, look. I, I like I like uh, to divine words, you know, and many words yeah. come from Latin or old Greek or uh, old uh, France. Mm -hmm. just, so so if you if you understand the words, mm -hmm. then it, it got a deeper meaning, you know. Uh, 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 like for instance, I was I was looking for words, you know. I I, I don't know if I uh, uh, told you about uh, communication. Communicate. I, I, maybe I told that before in a, in our previous one. Go no, through not. it again. Go through it again. Now, okay, communicate. Now come means together, uni means one, and kate means capture. So together we capture that oneness. That is what communicate really means. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ab yeah. Absolutely. There's okay. so many words like that, yeah. Yeah, and like, like, like vision. Vision means, this means strength, and eon means go. In strength, I go. In strength, I go. That's a vision. That's why you have to have a vision, you know, in life. Oh, so, absolutely. The, the, the vision is extremely powerful because the vision is part of the, 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 the image of where you want to be. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's all, I got so many words, you know, and I thought, oh man, we have to write, rewrite the dictionary, right? Yeah. Okay, quick. And I was thinking, okay, let's call it the 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 the, uh, the word of God or something like that. But I thought, no, 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 let's let's define the word dictionary. You know what dictionary means? Dicton. Yeah. Dicton means voice, mm -hmm. and every means anyone. Mm -hmm. So voice of anyone means dictionary. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it it gives you a chance, right? It's yeah. a tool that you can use to your to your advantage. It's there.